Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yusuf the Gamer Star Trek Online, and welcome once again to Foundry Frolics. We're going to be kicking off the Good Intention series by Rogue Enterprise for the next few weeks, and we can begin with part one, probably a good place to start, and a message from Fleet Admiral Nari, Sector Commander for Ata Eridani, who probably has the single worst job in the Admiralty right now, running the front line of the Fed Clink War. On the screen. Okay, so we need to pull away from Colonel Simon, another offensive in the Cow system, yep, it's Tuesday, and we need to reinforce the Admiral's position. We're on our way, and to be completely frank, we're probably going to get there, yep, we're too late, and there are lots of lots of cloaked Klingons. Well, just, just start counting. Failing that, start shooting. When we run out of Klingons, we know we've got them all, which makes it. A certain amount of sense, but is also completely useless at the same time as analyses go. And here we are, one nice little star base, the USS Stonewall, and by the looks of it, a couple of random extras who are probably going to die in about five minutes' time. Inbound on the Stonewall, just tag in, and we have got Klingons! Woohoo! Let's start with that cruiser. Line it up, target one, target two, Omega, tag team, have some anti proton. Come on, down you go. Yoink. And... Dual can should finish him in a second. Boomski, good night. And onto the Raptor. To Stovokor with you. Where there should be opera and singing and fresh gach. Let's face it, basically paradise. A Todrush fighter, another Negva. Ooh, lots and lots of Klingons. Let's have the Photonic Fleet in. Loop up again, Intel ship away. Surgical strikes up, Omega up, attack team, loop back. And have more weapon fire to the face. And then possibly throw up the backside as well. Ooh, another Negvar. All stop, all stop. Target, open fire. Ah, yeah, well. Oh well, it's only his porch side shields that we're hitting now, so could be worse. They're still about to go down anyway. Surgical out. And we'll just finish you off nice and swiftly. Boomski. And, ooh, more Klingons. Come on. Give me Klingons. Give me Klingons. Um, I'm, I'm having so much fun. Can we have some more? Uh, yes, last known to be in command of the Kel. Um, well, yes, it's me. Where is this? And they are still fighting. Do not engage them. We have a special mission. What's that? The big fish. There's a small fleet of command ships at the rear of the fighting. One for one ship against command squadron. Woohoo! Once again, do not engage enemy forces unless you have to. Understood. And since Rogue is being pretty solid about that, we'll loot up discreetly. And then we'll do something that was technically illegal at the time. Namely, go into cloak. Come on. Round the scenery. Do, 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 Come on, bring the cling. I, um. Okay, how many times have I told you? You do not yell loudly under cloak. It, it pops us out. We're receiving a hail. Ah, uh, the infamous fleet. Pu puny! Patach! Uh, we're going to kill you. Yes, yes, yes. We'll see about that. Another message. They've broken through the assistance. We can handle this ourselves. Lock weapons on target. We're probably going to have to save her anyway. Right, lock onto that first battleship. Line it up. And fire. Oh, also emergency power to weapons. Just for that extra little kick. Okay, close the range. Toggle in. 
Uh, come on, come on, die. Die, 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 die. One. And... Lock on to next. And the two, surgical away, and we'll just strip down their defenses at the same time. Come on, down you go. Boom. Target number two. You know what, let's go for spread fire on this, try and catch a couple of birds of prey. AP Omega out. And fire everything basically. Also reinforce the shields because they are taking a little bit of a beating. There goes the bird of prey. And surgical strikes comes back just in time to mess up the battle cruiser. Off you go. One way ticket to the Grethor for you. Come. I've got plenty. Come on. Bring some more. Bring me more Klingons. One little bird of prey there. Yoink. And one rapidly expanding cloud of gas, debris, and general mess there. Okay, what else have you got for me? A boarding action? That ship that I told to back off because we could handle this ourselves? We really could. And the rest of the fleet is mopping up. Where do you need us now? The USS Bowstring was keeping an eye out. An early warning system? More like an early suicide system. And then they intercepted the advanced scouts and engagement. I told you it was an early suicide system. Quite likely she's lost. But no matter, let's go and search. Cloak us up. Go find the bowstring. And try not to smash at full speed into the moon. That would be embarrassing. Expensive. Fatal. Well, probably not fatal actually. We'll just skim the atmosphere. Yoink. And there we go. Right, so we have what's left of the bowstring and an unidentified Klingon ship. Looks like they gave as good as they got. All stop and scan. So, ship beacon and IFF match. The unidentified Klingon ship is the scout and they're both just sitting there. What's that phenomenon around them? Mild energy field, unknown type. Hmm, is it affecting us? Not yet. Right, meaning we aren't looking in the right thing. Halem, no response. They're receiving, they're just not talking. The Klingons, they're not interesting either. Status, uh, bowstring, shields are up, taking a few hits, minor damage. Um, hmm. Okay, so either time itself has gone out of joint, or... Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be like that Enterprise Romulan mix-up, but... Let's see what we get. What about the Klingons? Klingon shields are up, the life science present standard, and they also seem to be waiting for something. Right. Mm, temporal weirdness, mind control, maybe even diplomacy. That's enough analysis. Time for action. They're both in distress and check in on the bowstring first. Fine. We'll somehow beam through their shields, which appear to be up. Energize. Let's go find out what weirdness we're dealing with now. And welcome to the Bridge of the Bowstring. Right, okay, let's see what we've got. Toddle us up, guys. Okay. There's in the centre seat. Nobody appears to be moving. Yeah, looks like we've got temporal weirdness again. Yep, very definitely a rerun of that Enterprise and Romulan mix-up. Captain, yep, yep, yes they are. Okay, number one, what have you got for us? Nout, okay, yeah, I think they're all like this, aren't they? Tricorder says no anomalies, let's just see, but check the other station's helm. Yep. Yeah, someone's hit the pause button on the universe around here, haven't they? Which kind of means that anomaly is going to be... Hmm, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Yep, okay, let's run a medical scan. Could be some kind of weird stasis, I suppose. He's definitely alive. Heart rate, respiration, all seem at normal rate. Okay. 
Right, so we're dealing with the general... Yeah, I'll say those. For one thing, he's on fire. Okay, what do we got? Looks like... Oh, Borg implants. What do you know? There's a power surge. Uh, okay, he's not dead. Well, he's about to be dead. Yeah, for what person? It's unknown. What's on the officer's head? Mm. Oops. Well, right now that's a grenade next to him. So what have we got here? Yoink! Okay, what kind of data? Very sophisticated device. My name is the terrific We Need Control. So, temporal weirdness, and by the looks of it, some weird alien lab experiments going on as well. Terrific. Okay, right, so... We have control over the ship, what is it? Power drain down on deck five. Uh, okay, right, so... Down to deck five. Well, no doubt we will discover who exactly is running this little science fair project. Turbolift does not appear operational and they're going to beam us down instead. Let's go! At least we don't have to use the ladders! Four decks worth of ladders, that would be unfortunate. Also, very time consuming. Right, so, welcome to engineering. Or at least deck five. Let's see. Yoink. Okay. Oh, another of those devices. And yep. Yeah, uh huh. What's wrong with his arm? Hairline fracture. There's another implant. Yeah, it's called neural impulses. Interesting. What's the medic doing? Painkiller via hyperspray. Lucky him. Just remember, if we get to engineering, nobody gets to draw smiley faces in the warp coolant except me. Okay, he's on his way somewhere. Um, who knows where? Oh, there's a force field across there. This is awkward. Right, tactical, what do we got? Damage control readout regarding nearby hull breach. That would be the hull breach. Hmm. Well, they're, they're dead. They're also more yeah, ha, fossil suit power. What about the crewmen? They're dead, and another implant still recording. Okay, um, for possible purpose. Right, so why would anyone want to know the details about the autonomic nervous system? Are we dealing with another possession case? And, okay, easy enough to overload it. I'm a little concerned about those three people in front of the weird alien gizmo. There we go. Yeah. Meet our saboteurs. Okay, let's go. Let's toddle up. Scan the equipment. What have we got? It's attached to the main truth. Those crewmen are arranged. Yeah. Mighty Ho Buffered. Okay, so basically these three are on download modes and the rest are just soaking up some information. Okay, right, how's it wired into the system? Similar to see buffering information and tossing to and from, all kinds of data. Okay, is it related? Yep, well, maybe, maybe not. Definitely probable. Who's behind this? Insufficient and yeah, it's not really Klingon style, is it? They've got to be here somewhere. Oh, hi there. Um, so, we're from Starfleet, and I realise we're pointing guns at you, but we are actually serious about talking. And if you're not, well, we can get serious about shooting. Right, who are you? Name is... Not able to be... Try me. Apologise for method intact. Yeah, we come in peace as well. You might end up leaving in pieces. Learning... Uh, Okay, you think, yes, yes, very interested. Help, oh dear. Uh, ha, go. Radio, oh, oh dear, oh dear. The Kl if the Klingons are in the similar mess, this is about to get very, very awkward. Get in touch with Captain Elish, they're jamming us. Terrific, red alert. Oh dear. Given what you want to know, I resume, oh dear. Oh dear, they've turned off the stasis field. 
Right, we need to find the beam-out point. Run away! Run away! Um... What have we got? Come on. Need an ah, there we go. Other exit. Can't you just beam us out? Sharp right. Oops. Oh dear. Well, at least it was quick. Good enough. Um, they're dead. Get us out of here. Energize. Quick. Fish out as many of the rest as you can. We'll figure out who survived later on. Now, we have a small Klingon scout ship to deal with who are doubtless very unhappy that someone's been poking and prodding them for the last few hours. And doubtless they'll find some way to blame it all on us. Whoops! Well, there goes the bowstring. Did we save any of the crew? Um, a dozen. Oh well, I suppose that's better than nout. What's the state of the Klingon vessels? And then they cloaked. Well, that was inconsiderate of them. Any sign of the aliens? No sign. No transport signature, no signs of... Uh, okay, let's track down that Klingon ship. Scan, 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 scan the area. His cloak has malfunctioned, and he's already brought a Klingon distress beacon, eh? Well, I suppose there are such things. Most in the lines of, we've run out of Warnog. However, in this occasion, we have an escaping Klingon ship, and... Ooh, a Hector. You must really want to die today. Come on, down you go. I'm not even going to bother with surgical strikes. It's not worth the cooldown. Let's get rid of these fighters. Yoink, Tetrions! And then anti-protons, and the Klingons have fixed their leak. Well, that's nice of them. Okay, loop round onto this last Tordouge. Down you go. And rebalance the shields before pitching round. Come on, have some anti-proton. You know you want it. Boom. And loot. Ooh, terraforming systems. Well, with a bit of luck, that wasn't a Klingon science ship. It would be so awkward having to sit through another court martial until we find, find out that we destroyed it last week. And a new contact. Move us into comm range. What have we got? Well, whoever they are, they're not much of a threat. 60 levels below. Let's go talk. Again. Do, 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 do. Hello, guys. Ah, there you are. You're fulfilling... Uh, uh, Ah, uh, huh. well, it wasn't very satisfying. Um, that wasn't great at all. It was a minor little skirmish. That's a strange thing for you to observe. Always in conflict. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. They think we're a bunch of, um, warmongering loonies, don't they? Warp drive, go, and... Oh dear, why aren't we moving? They're out of phase. What does that mean? Oh, terrific. It's gonna be a running fight, isn't it? Right. Start shooting. Call in the fleet while we line up for an attack run. Reinforce the shields and then switch into area mode. Fire everything. Well, okay. Kill almost everything. And yoink. Right. Okay, looty. And, excuse me aliens, would you mind explain that we only fight when we have to, or when we want to, or when we've just got a good reason for it? Let's talk. Increase that, which you like. Oh, wait! No, oh, damn it. Visual scanning again. These guys have really got the wrong end of the stick. However, high yield, just shred that raptor. I said shred that raptor. Come on. Thank you. Okay, loop round onto the Hector. Starboard shield goes down, swiftly followed by its hull. Anyone else? Ooh, Todosh fighters. Excellent. 
annoying, given that I haven't got fire at will or any tractor repulses installed, but never mind. There we go. Right, now, if you don't mind, we really, really need to talk. Yoink. Okay, they got entirely the wrong idea from our physiology, didn't they? Because they've seen the neural responses to adrenaline and misinterpreted that as being pleasure. The ship's holding together. I'm sorry, the shields didn't even go down. Engines. Okay, incoming transmission. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, it's constant striving for peace. Concept has this war note. Ah, yes. Um, strictly speaking, they've kind of got it right, but also got it horribly wrong. None of that was our choice. Oh, terrific. Off we go again. Ooh, a Negva. Rock and roll. Boom. And while we're at it, we really do need to get those shields back up. Come on. Fire. That's the cruiser gone. Most unfortunate bird of prey ever, although he did somehow survive that little beating with his shields down. Go to surgical again. And good night, sweet prince. One more bird of prey. Come on, down you go. Down you go. Yoink. Right. Um, clearly this, but first of all, priorities. We're going to loot up, then we're going to run like blazes. Engage the warp drive. Although somehow I suspect this isn't going to work. Let's face it, these guys have already pulled a few tricks out of their hat involving freezing... Effect, well, effectively freezing a ship in time, so I imagine we're about to have a horrible case of that happen to us. And here we are at warp, running from something. Open a channel to Starfleet. We have a bunch of aliens who think they're trying to be helpful. And it's just debris. Still not time the neutral zone, indeed. Good Intentions Part 2 will of course come next week. And well, that's very much been a teaser episode, has it? We've had our apparently well-meaning antagonist introduced, although we still don't have a name for them. And the Klingons are, as usual, reduced to cannon fodder. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Part 1 of Good Intentions. And, well, to be continued. Until next time, farewell.